Hi guys, Steph here. Now, following on from yesterday's pen haul video, I received lots and lots of replies and inquiries and reserve people reserving pens. And somebody was lucky enough to reserve this pen here. Look at that, a lovely pen, already in nice condition, just a little bit of TLC is needed. And after that TLC, as I said, didn't need a great deal. Comes in a Conway Stewart box. Inside, we've got the instruction, sort of leaflet if you like. And here's the pen in question. Absolutely gorgeous. What we've got is a Conway Stewart 60, made in England. Made in England around the 1950s to... Well, yeah, the first couple of years in 1960s. But I'm dating it sort of, yeah, 1950s. Now, as I say, it's a Conway Stewart's number 60. And if I show you, there you go. Lovely clear imprint Conway Stewart 60 made in England. As you can see there, it comes with a gold filled uh, Conway Stewart lever, as you can see. We've got the cap band, a nice wide cap band, and then the very recognisable Conway Stewart clip to the very top with the Conway Stewart logo to the top of the clip and this aluminium peat finial or cap top, as you can see there, which matches the peat end of the barrel. The size of the pen, capped, 130 millimeters capped around the barrel a very nice 12 millimeters in diameter now the conway shoe at 60s were yeah you know they were one of the top of the range conway stewart pens of the period and the conway shoe at 60s were made in some very very attractive colors very sought after patterns and colours this one being one of them i'm calling it mauve but yeah i think some people call it the burgundy but it's this what we term as a hatch pattern now they brought as i say the 60 they came out in cracked ice they came out in some lovely what we term as a herringbone pattern in sort of red green and blue herring bones um they came out also, as I've just mentioned, in this hatch colour in burgundy, I believe blue hatched, uh, grey hatch. And yeah, they brought out a classic black model as well. So, very sought after pens, highly, highly desirable, and especially, as I say, in this condition. Um, as I said, didn't need a lot of work. I simply disassembled the pen. Um, actually, when I disassembled the pen, the nice thing about it, look at that. <laughs> it still had the original Conway Stewart sack, which indicates to me that the pen was not used very much. But obviously, you can see if I actually... There we go. That's what happens to these sacks. Look at that. They just solidify and break up in small, small pieces. <laughs> but it was nice that the original sack was still there. But we've now replaced it with a brand new one. As I say, it's been fully cleaned internally. And it's now, this one will be travelling across the pond to a very lucky new owner there's the feed you can see very comfortable to hold quite a small feed for this large pen uh, and a piece de resistance let's see how close i can get it is this large joro conway stewart 14 karat gold and you can't see it because it's inside the section. But to the bottom, it has, on the nib, it has the number 60. 
There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath. You can see, as you'd expect, everything is lovely and clean. As I said, a lovely, with my large hands, it's a lovely, comfortable pen to hold. I'm not going to fill the pen because, as I say, it's on its way to the new owner. But what we'll do, let's just do a dip test just out of interest and see how it writes. So we've got Conway. Conway Stewart, number 60. Made in made in England circa 1950s I think it's actually they say between 1950s through to 1963 writing very nicely as you'd expect from this quality 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 pen so what we'll do I'll clean that Let's just, actually I've got a piece of tissue here, let's just give it a quick wipe. We'll clean that before it goes off to the new owner. As you can see, writing with a, a fine, fine line. So there we have it. The first one in the queue. The first one from many out of the pen hall. A gorgeous Conway Stewart 60 in burgundy or mauve hatch pattern absolutely stunning so there we have it i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget give the video a thumbs up don't be shy leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel as well but for now i'm just going to say slavo kriini and make from me and this gorgeous pen. Bye-bye for now.